Hey guys, today's video is all about taking care of your arm. Taking care of your arm is so important to your long-term health as a softball player. As a young player, this is going to really, really help in you building up to pitching an entire softball game. And as an older and more experienced player, this is going to help you a lot to be able to pitch back to back games and be strong and have stamina. So take care of yourself. <music> ways to take care of your arm is to ice it. Just grab yourself an ice pack from the freezer. I like to grab a really large dish towel to put my ice pack inside of. And having a really long towel allows you to sort of strap it and wrap it to your shoulder so that the ice and the cold can really uh, penetrate deep into your muscle and be most effective. You want to ice for 15 minutes at a time, take it off, wait 15 minutes, and you can ice again. You can ice as many times you need to throughout the day. Uh, always ice your arm once you get into your full motion. So if you do a training or a practice outside and you move into your full motion and throw many pitches uh, in your full motion, you should ice every single time to take care of your arm. Welcome to my dingy basement. The next way I'm going to show you how to take care of your arm is by grabbing a lacrosse ball. Or if you don't have a lacrosse ball, or if you're under 12 years old, I want you to use a tennis ball instead. A lacrosse ball is just like a solid chunk of rubber. And for smaller, still growing muscles, this might be a little too intense for some of you. You're going to take the lacrosse ball. You can even use it stationary, just standing up and using it to kind of massage areas of your shoulder to loosen things up if you're feeling extra tight. You can also, if you need a little extra pressure, use a wall. So I'm just in my basement using this crappy old wall. I would make sure you don't do this against a nice wall like in your dining room. And you put it in sort of the spot that you need to get a nice little massage and you just need to go really slow. This isn't about really, really fast wax on, wax off situation. Wax on, wax off, breathe in, breathe out. This is really, really slow. You can also do this behind you in your shoulder blade. That's another area where I get very, very tense and I'm sort of lightly squatting up and down and adjusting as I need to. And it feels really good. Wow! I feel good. The last thing that I'm going to show you to help you take care of your arm is a really, really nice stretch. I call it the snow angel. I learned about this stretch this year. If you didn't know, I'm a rock climber. And because I'm always using my shoulders in rock climbing and in softball, this has been one of the most wonderful things to ever happen to me. Materials for this, I have a foam roller at home. If you do not have a foam roller, you can take a beach towel or a shower towel and roll it up like a big old sausage and roll it up inside of another one to make yourself sort of a roll shape, all right? You're going to lie down on top of your roll. And I like to position myself so that the sort of base of my head is just kind of resting right near the edge of my roll there. And my legs are just kind of propped up like a little tabletop. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to open my arms. This stretch is all about gravity and just letting your shoulders sink down. Now, the reason why it's important to be on a roll like this is so that you have extra extension backwards with your arms to get the full effect of this stretch. So I could just rest here and you might sit here and think, wow, this is more than enough, Rachel. And I'd say, yeah, maybe today you just stay here. Otherwise, if you're like, nah, this is feeling great, 
you can start to snow angel your arms. So I'm gonna bring my arms to the top. I'm gonna slowly rotate them. When I get midway, I'm going to flip my arms over and I'm gonna finish my snow angel. And I'm gonna continue doing that. Flip, up. Flip, down. I might do this 20 or so times, or I might just sit here like this for a straight minute and incorporate this into uh, some other kind of exercise routine. Maybe if you do yoga, this is a great thing to sort of do at the end to help restore your muscles a little bit. Take care of those arms. Mm -hmm.